that we can tinker. You're tinkering? For relatively cheap. The one tinkering is Chris. The one criticizing me super early in our warm-up session is Sam. <laughs> that makes us the never-ending never backlog. backlog. And welcome back. Okay, yeah, I... there's the noise. I was like, do I have the wrong earbud in? I don't hear anything. It's the max level. Oh, whoa, wait, this is level 99? How the hell did we get a level 99 weapon? That's crazy. Is it from the DLC? I don't know. Did we upgrade it or something? Well, Level... I want to get this thing up to 100% under damage. Hey! hey I just wasted another fortune what? on guns. What are you, where are you spending all our money? Stop that. I'm where not... were, what were we? We had 45,000 bits! What were we spending it on? What were we saving it for? I don't know. What if there's something that costs 45,000 bits in the next town and then we want to buy it? And oh can't. my god. <laughs> yeah, what if we need to make some improvements to our ship? Uh, it's called the Unreliable, so that's out of the question. We'll be fine. What floor would you like to visit? Um, I just realized, never mind. Oh yes, and we're still wearing... Also, I, as Sam pointed out, I didn't realize that uh, the Rizzo's... Like, oh, I'm part of the Rizzo's Rangers all around. Helen must be furious. A little hologram. I should put something else on. Like... The thing is, it's 42 armor. Oh, oh no. that's fun. Yeah, I'm putting I'm putting on a, a stupid hat. Wait, what does this do? Does it do anything? I could have been tinkering with armor too. See, what if you wanted to spend that forty five thousand bits tinkering on your armor? You know what? Whoops. Hey, it's Yay, good now. Welcome All right. back. So we are gonna let's see. The bird drug. Essence of Sprat, Sprat, Egg Pod, oh. and Recruit Cedric. I think we should start by going to Cedric. I like that idea. Which is... What is this? What, what? Oh, where's this? Bunker. Where is Cedric? Cedric would be here, yes? Yeah, the spaceport, I believe. Okay. Alright, let's go. Uh, I have my companions. Let's do this. So we'll deal with his, uh, I don't, what would you call his attitude? Like, the first word that sprang to my mind was smarm. Smarm. He's very patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's about to go down. We're gonna, this might be the last part of the DLC, and then we have to go back to the main game. And it's like, uh. So we gotta recruit Cedric, and then make a cure. And give it to everybody in this area. Malachi. Ow. Oh, you need to... Oh, my blood. Maybe we can out of cut me. his nails. Yeah, we need to. Can watch that video on how to do it again. Something. They're coming out of his feet. Like, he's not even flexing his claws. Like, his nails are so long. He Poor just Malachi. wants to be loved, but I'm the one holding a controller. Your mom is the one that... You want to come over here? Just don't scratch your daddy when you come. Wow, that could have been taken like... Oh, no! <laughs> Whoa! I said the words that mean other things when you say them. <laughs> Double entendre. <laughs> 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 I love... That's a great way to describe it, though. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've got. The, I guess this is as good a time as any to get the giggle. <laughs> oh, Sam, that's all right. There was that post about fingering I made that, like. Yes, Chris made a post on Facebook and did not realize how it would come across. There was like a video game screenshot out of Phoenix Wright from Phoenix Wright out of context, where Phoenix was thinking. Um, By the way, it, it seems like everyone's gone cuckoo bananas on Rizzo's ground in the meantime. Oh, wow. 
Things have escalated, you're right. Yeah, immensely. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but, um, By the anyways, way, this thing rules. Um, Chris, Chris said, like, the Phoenix was thinking something like, I know just who I'm going, who I'm going to finger no, is. No, the person I should be fingering the is. The person I should be fingering is. And without thinking about it, I tagged Sam, because I was like, ah, oh, it's Phoenix right. it's funny. <laughs> And I was like, you know, it's gonna come across. <laughs> Wait, oh, I had. You're naming the person. Is, how does that work? Nioka just blasted him through a bit. Oh no, through the door. Wow. Good job. So I think King Cannon is gonna be an easy sell on joining up with us. In all honesty. Yeah, he doesn't like Ludovico to begin with, and then I'm sure that this <laughs> Everyone's... is bad with business. Again. Everyone's gone cuckoo for Spectrum Brown, and... Well, yeah, that's a good point. Like, presumably... Well, it's just... I don't, I don't even understand Ludovico, because there's obviously this downside mm -hmm. that seems like everybody is falling for. Like... How would you not... You must be crazy if you don't see the... This or he just doesn't issue. give a damn. He's just like, in we can make of, money selling Rizzo's brand. Yeah, and, and the word, to, to quote James Randi, he's a con man and he just doesn't give a damn. Oh. Is that a mirror? Maybe? That's a mirror. She is... Shh, shh, it's okay. Go to sleep. Well, I was commenting shh. earlier, pride maybe, but like... She is incredibly vocal. She started... Oops. Apropos of nothing, she picked up her little Elsa doll and started saying, let it go, and we haven't watched Frozen in, like, a month and a half. But, what I was saying is, like, I feel like it's indicative of, like, the corporate mindset. Um, oh, how'd you get in here alive? You are alive, yeah? And not a one of them? No. Yeah. You look clean. Uh, good. You'd better get inside with the others. Okay. I spilled mock apple juice on my pants, okay? <laughs> apple juice. Not, you know. <laughs> Lord. I wet my pants and I just can't put this hammer down because I'm scared. No, I was saying, it, I feel like uh, Ludovico's um, mindset is indicative of the idea that, like, you know, we will infect everyone with parasites and then we will have a happy colony. Couldn't we just give them 40-hour work weeks with weekends off and benefits, paid maternity leave? No, brain slugs it is. Oh, what are you stealing in front of people? What do you think you're doing? Uh, oops. Nothing at all. Carry on, I suppose. <laughs> I forgot! I was like, oops. Don't steal. Come on. Inspector, you made it. Well done. I'm afraid you may find the spaceport is, at the moment, less hospitable than usual. My apologies. Yeah. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Well, what's this? What happened? Whew. Whatever it was, it happened quickly. Like a wave sweeping across the shore. <laughs> we were overrun. I know, right? The survivors are still trickling in. We've put out a call to slug agents not at the docks to keep their distance. With the warehouse's stores, Slug could hold out here for weeks, easily. Possibly months. Okay. Ludovico's behind everything. Will you help me take him down? Don't you accuse me of murder, Inspector. I'm not generous enough to do you a good turn after all that. Damn it, Chris! Um... <laughs> Wait, how do you know also, about that? Also, how do you know? <laughs> you must have a... You dick. I'll ask you once, Inspector. Why should Slug help you? <sighs> Ludovica wants to infect the entire colony with slugs. This is big. When you put it like that, I would be heartless to say no. God you damn it. You Slug's support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation <laughs> station. <laughs> you can't... 
<laughs> Damn it! Of course he would be spying on everything. Yeah, exact. You're totally right, Two Shoes. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Damn it, Chris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Don't thank me just yet. As thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the space. Oh, no safety. kidding. Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna disperse an anesthet. Mm-hmm. Are you really? Inspector, you are a marvel. Now, does Excellent he know where to work. find the ingredients? I'll admit, I'm awfully fond of my agents. To see them uh, sorry about that, I killed some of your agents. Of Thank you. We need essence of Sprat. Uh, do we want to bring the... No. Nope. ...working with Helen? No, we're not going to do that. Okay. We're not, I'm not tipping my hand. Coincidentally enough, Slut can supply you with essence of Sprat. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. You remember her. There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the essence of Sprat you need in there. Who ordered essence of Sprat anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Anti- mm, oh God, it's making me hungry. Oh, I wouldn't like to say. A customer supplier confidentiality and all that. Fair so, enough. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? Um, that's all for now. Yeah, I should have known this game would Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, I think it... Not him. I was going to say don't exit the building because I think it's in this building. Yeah, that's why I was going to go up the stairs. Yeah, there it is. See? I was totes right. Damn okay. it, Sam. I'm sorry. We should have just assaulted Ludovico. Essence of spread. It's okay. We did want to. We had done that before, though, so we saw new content. I yeah, that's one way to look at it. I just feel kind of doofy. Okay, so journal says collect egg pod. Do we have any? I guess there might be something on the map. Where no, there's something on the map. Actually, that's right. I don't have to go. Th I can go through fewer loading screens if I. Aww. You cannot fast travel from this location. I... I'm sorry, Chris. I keep bringing it up. That's true. I'm just... I just feel like, ah, it was so obvious it was him. I should have just gone with that, because nobody or else... Maybe, maybe he would have said that anyway, because we were interviewing him as a suspect. But no, he did have that special bit of dialogue that... Especially like, wait, that. how would you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. The terror ray. <laughs> Fair enough. Set him out, Saint Helen. <laughs> Halcyon Helen. Oh, my, no, she's Mount St. Helen now. That's great. I don't think we can fast travel because we were besieged by you know, crazy people, which I think I'll just try to ignore. Yeah, maybe run out of there without mm -hmm. killing any more people. <laughs> well, let's try and bring up fast travel first, just in case you can fast travel. I mean, assuming you don't see someone in your face right when you step out. Of course, maybe the map would have trouble loading. Oh my god. No, we can totally, I think we can do it, yep. So tired of looking at Spectrum Brown though. I gotta say, as it's been exciting discovering like the, the great woes of the colony in peril on Gorgon and this whole murder mystery has been an absolute blast. It's gonna feel like going back to work when you go back to the main quest because oh no. <laughs> we have to save the frozen people. I just gotta wonder about the guy who freed us. Uh, what's his name? Phineas? Yeah, I wonder about Phineas. He's like, what the hell were you doing for for a week and a half? I was like, oh, I'm just bumming around. I'm glad you're enjoying it too. I'm glad people are enjoying this as much as I am. Alright, abandoned Rizzo's Bucker. 
Oh my god. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know what it's it's been in, in like, actual time. I mean, I was just sort of saying, like, the whole thing that took us, like, it took us a week and a half in the, in, get, in, in story time. I mean, we, we were frozen for decades until we got woken up. As we were being sent to Halcyon, okay. Oh, wait, this is where the Prophet of Profitability is. I wonder if she has any dialogue. Keeping me in the dark is hampering my humors horribly, Inspector. I do hope you'll decide to arrest me. All right. Do, 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 do. I mean, I hadn't thought about it for a while until I realized, oh, that's going to be the rest of the game if we actually want to finish this game on stream. It's like we went straight to the... We went straight to the closing mo Oh, you know what? like we went straight to the closing moments of the symphony and now we have to slog through like the middle bits you know if we don't kill them maybe we could do if we don't I know we're under attack I mean, like, I wonder, will, will it save the people that have gone Sir. cuckoo bananas, like, completely infected with slugs? Will it just kill them? It's a good question. I wish we could save them. Hi. I would feel better about that. Oh, just digging around. Some sprats, a bin. I can't get through here. I must be going the wrong way. Ugh. Also forgot that like Rizzo's owes its history to being like a waste management company. I mean that's that's actually a really good idea. Like, it's probably what it is. It's un unrefined Rizzo, too. I like that. Ever clear to the max. I mean, it's a vodka-powered gun. Is that a finger? The index finger of the Chief of the Savages, bitten off by his followers, as they finally turned on him, as dissidents always do, not wanting to permanently injure the then-celebrity Spencer Woolrich, and lacking the resources to create an artificial finger for the scene where it was lost, the director of Terran Monarch had security removed the index finger of one of Warwick's understudies, and you now hold it in your hand. <laughs> Char Charlie bit way hard. The world is beautiful beyond compare. I can see colors I never imagined existed. The sky has a voice, and it's singing to me. I see the truth now. I see everything so clearly, so perfectly. The storms of Eridanos are notes in a grand cosmic orchestra. The stars are the choir of the universe, and every word they sing is joy. I can't seem to stop smiling. I don't want to stop smiling. Ever. Fun! Oh, this, it's so much fun. Get some gun bits. Or ammo. All right, let's, what's in here? View lab notes. File, uh, two files successfully. Hack. Parasite seems completely incompatible with the common Sprat. It's, this is baffling and disappointing. I have a few theories. One, Sprat nucleotides are highly adaptive. Iridanum gigasis is a half-complete creature. Adaptive mutations in Sprat physiology render it a poor host of the parasite. Iridanium gigasis has a particular has a particular and discerning sense of taste and finds sprats accordingly distasteful. Option two is ridiculous to me, but not, strictly speaking, impossible. Could both be true? 
I'm delirious. We'll delete in the morning. Oh my god. I completed the final round of total immersion suppression and exposure tests. As expected, EG dissolves in acid, burns in fire, and can be disintegrated or otherwise destroyed with N rays or concentrated blast plasma. Creature is vulnerable when alone. However, bonding with a host evokes intensely protective behaviors from that host. Safeguarding the parasite becomes the host's primary objective, even to the point of aggression and violence. The creature also seems well suited to long term hibernation and immersion in liquid suspension. Water and low grade alcohols preserve the creature. Its metabolic systems, such as they are, slow to a halt. Once exposed to a host, the creature emerges from its dormant state and immediately attempts to attach itself to the host's nervous system. Long term dormancy and alcohol solution may prove useful to corporate. I'll prepare my report tomorrow. Okay. Dr. Amir! Uh, it's all because of you. Continuing my research for more suitable hosts among common fauna. Very promising results from terror rays. Biological system is well suited to hosting the parasite. My theory? The parasite enjoys exposure to the atmosphere of Iridonos and may be manipulating the terror rays in, into more frequent and aggressive flight. In every case, the parasite has successfully manipulated production of hormones in the host's brain. I don't know how yet. The implications of a parasite manipulating its host troubles me. Its nervous system is exotic and difficult to understand. I can't quite shake the idea that the parasite does not require contact with the host in order to influence its behavior. A suitably large and complex specimen may be able to manipulate the mood of a sentient creature by proximity alone. Maybe. Possibly. These ideas are unscientific, founded in my own anxieties. My nightmares have been muddying my thoughts. Should seek treatment soon. Okay. Well, that's scary. Like, the big brain slugs can push pe just push you around. So we've seen a lot of them. Okay. Alright, where's... It's upstairs. How do I get upstairs? How do I get upstairs? Oh, I thought she was asleep. Oh, I go this way. Duh. Just say... Duh, 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 duh. Disciples' choice, self-flagellation or meditation on productivity, followed by no food next day. Oh, profit disciple daily schedule. That's funny. Hot, cold training, stomach purging, dinner, stomach purging, medical attention. Ah, that's messed up. Alright, let's do this. Let's... Whoops, I did not mean to steal that. Then I did. Sprats everywhere. But I still can't get upstairs. Sam, help me out here. As soon as I take all these mag picks. Oh no, did you check the map? Uh, I have not checked the map yet, but I want to get whatever's in this box. Yes, I'm going to pick. Okay. Alright. You're right, I should look at the map. That didn't help. Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't looking up. Wait, could it be... I felt like this made the most sense to go this way. And then... Did I just get turned around? Sealed, huh? What did that do? Anything? Oh. Oh! I'm just... Well, hey then. Unobservant. That's alright. You found it. Just gonna warm up this bad boy. Or maybe not. Or, oh dear. Oh, it's taking over Canids. Oh, did you see how Parvati was just standing there for a second? <laughs> now, well, y'all have it. Wait. Vodka! Like, seriously, this is the most effective weapon I've found. <laughs> I'm so glad. Like, 
taste the pain bow. Oh, they're fighting something. They're okay. Or, or maybe not, looking at their health bars. <laughs> like, the stereotypes about people who play golf, I feel like just the stereotypes about golf were like, Hoity toity rich people play golf. Yeah, I think Parvati would play Parvati toss would ball. Be... She's pretty aggressive. Parasite egg pod. You know, while we're here, what else is here? But... Is this where they found the parasite? The geologist data pad. Corporate authorized the name EG to describe the life form. Once we determine whether the creature is viable, a viable flavoring agent, confection ingredient, or drinkable after fermentation, Rizzo's company branding department will provide a consumer-friendly name. Ah, uh, it's Parasite. Dissection reveals incomplete system of... I, <laughs> the, I, I don't like any of those options. Happy to be a part of the Rizzo's family. Oh, that's fucked. Parasite jelly. We can sell that. Like, we're here. I just want to see what's here. I'm so curious. <laughs> oh, hold on. There we go. Oh god. I know, I just huffed drugs. I'm huffing more drugs. Dang, 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 dang! Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm I, I did I know. get a spoiler. What? You got a spoiler? The, uh... Never mind. I won't bring it up. I'll mention it later. Once well, we were you googling this? No, I know! It was- I don't want to remind you. Oh, the spoiler I, I... Wait, is that thing not taking damage? Oh, yeah. No, I did get a spoiler. I remember. I'm not gonna think about it. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I ain't working. Time to huff some drugs. Oh my god, this is so uh, bad. Plasma works well on the parasite. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh. Plasma Why am I slowed down? Oh my god. I know. Oh my god. The Canid Mega Host isn't taking any freaking damage. Oh my god. Okay, let's just back off, reconfigure. You know, that's a good point. Yeah, I did. I just noticed the comment. I, I was bleeding out. That's probably why things were going south. Is that thing invincible? I swear to God, its health bar hasn't moved. They're just incredibly resilient. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, indes indestructible, like, parasite bird. Oh my god. Get up, everyone. Get up and save your leader. Oh. Or, you know, I'm fine. Taking everything. What's what am I? What's my weight at? Two twenty. I shouldn't be so slow. 
Maybe this was a minor mistake. But I was super curious about what was in here. Yes. Alright, it was just a I bunch of... Oh, okay. I thought you had to come in here to get to your... No, I've already got the thing. Oh. We can leave. I'm sorry, we could have left at any time. We were here to get the parasite egg. Because we needed a sample of the parasite egg. The, basically, we need some parasite DNA to go with... The Sprat Essence? Essence of Sprat to create the anti the anti venom. And, like, two minutes into this little incursion here, I actually found the thing we were looking for, and oopsie daisy. We should we should have left without, you know, having to fight the invincible canid dogs. And are we going deeper? Didn't we come up to get here, or am I I remember the building we were in, the thing Oh, was never above mind. Us. I okay, it's a cavern of I just expected the cavern to be beneath us. Rather than above us? That yes. makes sense. But also, like it doesn't given the way that mountain ranges wait, what am I doing? Map. Let's see if I can shoot for the penthouse. I cannot fast travel from this location. Well that's fantastic. Are we going to mix it up at the penthouse? I thought we were going to another location. I, I thought might just. Be... I thought we were going to talk to Helen about that. Okay. Helen seemed to Mount Saint Helen seemed to know exactly what was going on. Yes, I'm going to call her that. You gave me <laughs> such a look. It wasn't much of one. You're like, come on, Chris. You you know her name. I'm trying to remember her. Like like I know her. What name Ruth Bellamy? Ah, oh, I couldn't remember the Bellamy part. I kept thinking of other last names that were not Bellamy. It's just so... Halcyon Helen is such a superhero name and her name is Ruth. It's so funny. I like it. It's very like, I'm just Ruth. Okay. Can I just get to the... You know what? No. Can I get to the penthouse, please? Yay! Oh, you were able it. to target it. Thank goodness. It's like I feel like we'll be able to finish this on time tonight. Like this is the last quest. It's gotta be. There, we might need to actually take Ludovico down after we put this out there. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Oh, there's the centrifuge. Putting the essence of Sprat in the, scent in the eggs. The essence of Sprat smells vaguely like the rest in go on the ground breaker. Or possibly the cantina in Edgewater. It's difficult to place, but your eyes water all the same. The parasite eggs sink into the concoction, sizzling. You activate the centrifuge. Thanks for giving me enough time to read that. Can we move on, game? Game? Oh no. There we go. Oh. The device does this work without any additional input from you. A swirl of bright colors that would have been nice if you animated it entertains your eyes, and a few moments later, you hear a bright chime. Same in the centrifuge. You see a small label stuck against the side of the device. Yeah. And? The label reads Rizzo's Laboratory Centrifuge. No training required. All Rizzo's laboratory equipment has been designed for the unschooled worker. Insert ingredients, push buttons, and watch it spin. Rizzo's proprietary technology. So easy, a spacer's choice worker could use it. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if it was made by spacer's choice or something. This, I also or the wonder. The label was on top of it. That should do the trick. Take the antiparasitic to the pilot house. We're gonna hijack the atmospheric controls. Alright, sounds good. Map. Region. Come on! Can you zoom in anymore? I know, I'm as zoomed in as I can get. Meow! 
Oh, Snibnark! No, it's like... It's... And then Billy Butts 2 played around with the map for five minutes trying to highlight this damn thing. Maybe if I just... I feel like it popped up accidentally. Yes, it, I but... saw it and I wasn't fast enough. I'm so mad. Oh. Yeah. He, huh? Okay. So I don't know that I'm going to fare any better, but I yeah. kind of want to try. No, you do it. I'm just go, curious. No, go for I don't it. Think, I don't care. Like, wow, you... it really just it auto targets you to this and then you can do nothing. Oh my god. So angry. <laughs> you know, I just might. Oh, you did it. Yay. Oh. Praise the architect. Thank the law. <laughs> Here we go. It's finally happening. I am excite. <laughs> the hardest battle we've ever faced. Targeting oh my the god. point. Probably, yeah. Just fiddling with that map. Chris made a face. Mm. Oh. oh, crap. Well, they were just standing there going... Can we get, like, past them without killing them? They looked like they were just standing there, Chris. Uh, okay. Let's take I'm, a look. I'm, like, want to try and save people. You're right. I'm sorry. I am actually sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I've just, you know, I know it's bad. Bad Maybe gamer instincts us. where I'm like, oh, somebody to shoot. I gotta shoot them. And then, whoops. My last quarterly review said I had an attitude problem. Morale improvement program fixed me, right? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Oh my god, no! Just showed up in the LARP and started shooting everyone. They said they were gonna throw fireballs at me. I was defending myself. It's like... So, I don't know if you've ever heard of Axe Cop. But it was like, it was written by... Wait, did I go the right place? Yes, I did. It was written by like a five-year-old and his... His 32-year-old brother. And he came up, he wanted to do a comic with an elephant, and Axe Cop talked about going to the fighting zoo to fight an elephant. And the punchline of the joke was that after he fought the elephant, it was like, it was too easy, and then he realized he'd gone to a regular zoo. Oh no, I blocked that out, apparently. Yeah. And apparently it made Ethan, the author, like, even though he came up with that, he was like, oh, I'm sad now. Like, in, poor little little boy, immediate regret, like, oh... But an elephant died. Yeah, oh, I was way into Axe Cop. It was crazy. Yeah, apparently. Axe Cop was pretty enjoyable. Axe Cop was wild because it would basically just... These these two siblings... From the imagination of a five-year-old... Like, he was a the... professional artist before this, and he did it for fun with his family, and, and he said in one of the, the original trade, it has gone on to eclipse everything else I have done professionally up to this point. It even got... Fox even made it a cartoon for a minute. Which is bananas. To think about. But apparently they would just play with action figures. Mm -hmm. And he would write down the stories and then illustrate them. They they did make me laugh out loud funny. So like, like they a lot of them were really great. Like, apparently when Axe Cop fights crime at night, he wears a cat suit. And Ethan did not extrapolate on this. <laughs> so, um... Or was Ethan the older brother... The I younger he... brother didn't extrapolate on that, so Axe Cop runs around in a literal cat suit with cat ears and a tail <laughs> at night, and that's canon, and it's amazing. 
Oh, welcome T. Wolcott messages. Do we care? Re, 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 terror ray trap. Good news. The planets were approved. We're sending you requested materials. Find your cabling in the terraforming central room. We don't have any spare screwdrivers, but try some spork sporkin' forks. The dirtier the better. A little grease actually helps loosen the screws. Has the captain even read my proposal yet? No, she's not big on details, so next time you try to talk, no one slid the terror rays from nesting in the engines. <laughs> okay, greasy spork and f yeah, fair enough. All right, let's get this over with. Greeting protocols suspended. All non-essential protocols. Oh suspended. no. Phaeton is standing by for larval compound dispersal. Uh. Disperse this instead. Affirmative. Oh, you didn't want to check status. Disperse. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to disperse the. I, I thought you were tired of me killing people. Yes, but I wanted to make sure it was actually working. Well, it seems to be. I was also excited. I'm sorry. From Rissa's distillation station. All right. What in law's name have you done? You hijacked our atmosphere. Are you trying to kill us all? No. You're trying to kill my symbiotes. Parasites, Ludi. Destroy everything I've built. I can still fix this. I can undo the damage you've done. End of transmission. Oh no. Uh let's see if we can You know what? What does our quest say? Like now we gotta go get him? The beast that shouted love at the heart of the world. Oh, I love that title. I, I, I wonder. Let's see, so Ludovico has sealed himself in the distillation station. Cool. Oh, absolutely not. We're gonna have to hunt him down. And it looks like we can't fast travel. And he went to the one place on the map we can't fast travel. So I will do my absolute best not to shoot anyone. I don't have to. Thank you. Maybe see if there's any points closer. Also, hopefully that stuff we sprayed out would have solved it. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't mean he doesn't have people on the payroll he can't send. But this is it. This is the final confrontation. Also, I'm still grumpy that... That, um... Oh my god. What is his name? Cedric? Cedric knew we accused him of murder. I'm just grumpy. Okay. Map. No, I mean, there's nowhere closer, per se. Okay. So I'm just gonna head in this general direction. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Oh no, I didn't think about that before we sped out the spray. Wait, what What? What was... Uh, she said, can you imagine what it's like to be forcibly happy for weeks or months and then suddenly have, like, a huge crash of dopamine? Ah! I'm guessing it's, like, worse than coming down from a night of tweaking. Holy crap. Well, he just, totally like, right. depressed a bunch of people. Look, if the option is, like, a week-long depression hangover or having slugs burst from their chests and they die... I really hope people understand why I did what I did. That's all I'll say at this point. Perfectly honest. Ah! Kitty! Oh, he almost ripped my headphones out. This whole planet does freak me out. Uh, she says, I have a feeling you'll be more confused than understand. They'd be more confused and understanding trying to figure out why this reality is different from the reality they've been. The slugs were gradual and this is immediate. That's. If you lose anything else, it's good to know we can purchase a replacement here. That's a solid point. No, I don't think you are. I think these. Are... That these spurs are a the lot of interesting questions. questions. <laughs> 
I certainly have questions for... You know what? I also just realized that I'm missing something. I can add a consumable to my inhaler. Okay. And I haven't done that, so... There you go. No kidding. That's why he's got to go down. Downtown Charlie Brown. I could really go for some french fries right now. Well, oh we do have an air fryer. Not that it's great for us. Especially at, at what, so 9.42 at, at night? night to or, put some french fries on. It's earlier than 9.42. That clock is wrong. <laughs> I have no idea. We will find out. Well, all, it's all going to come together. One way or another. Alright. You're just chilling. Oh, they might have attacked us. Oh, can you make it through the door, though, without killing them? I mean, I don't know. Somebody just slugged me. Alright, there we go. I don't know if it really matters, but I I feel better about it. It feels good for the theming and the role playing, honestly. Yeah, like we don't really. Want I'm not to kill wasting them ammo on people them. I don't want to kill. <laughs> Golly, Pete. What is Ruth gonna do now that everyone knows that Halcyon Helen is dead? Or at least everyone. Well, she's committed some crimes herself. But I don't I feel mean. About. You got another craving again? Ooh, do tell. Ooh. Oh, pecan maple? Oh, pecan maple sounds heavenly. Yes, I would like that. Uh oh. Receptionist is gone. Yeah. Here they this come. Up. I can't hear you laughing. <laughs> okay, no I have no choice. They're gonna kill us. Okay, I guess they are well, I don't know. Look, Ludovico has forced my hand here. Oh she dead she's dead. Oh. Yeah. I feel really bad doing this. These people that just. Also, how is he okay with all the people he's working with behaving like this? Like, I don't get you, Ludovico. He something's gone completely wrong. Maybe he has a secret slug. He wasn't smiling when we saw him earlier. Seriously. <laughs> Our refining process has been honed by years of experience. Not only efficient, but highly effective at bringing the most powerful flavors from our ingredients. After beverages are ready, we bottle them up and ship them out straight to the thirstiest mouths of the colony. I was okay, just... I... come on. Ooh, there's the brain slug. They're showing it off, too, which is, like, bold as brass. Alright, I know, I'm sorry. He's done a real good job of sealing himself in. Ludovico, come out and play. He's got a great name for like for like elongating it too in that little sing songy way. Are they getting ready for the launch of Spectrum Brown? Ooh, bypass shunt. Alright. Frenzied host. Oh, that is gonna die. I mm. uh, what a mess. Someone's fighting. Did he force them to wear gas masks? I don't know. Sure seems like it. Some of them are wearing those masks, others aren't. 
Were we supposed to join Cedric's crew outside of the distillation plant? I don't remember seeing them. No, they he, they just gave us the essence of Sprat. Oh, okay. I thought he said that his folks were that that was separate. The Sprat we asked for after that. I think we'll be okay. This thing is so good. Sorry. Fodka power rainbow nightmare. You'll answer for your crimes, Ludovico. Seriously. Also, if this is how you lock doors, I... Oh. Ah, crap. Ah, get... Whoa! Adreno, the regular Healy stuff. <laughs> this cheese meets the Mercury guy from Terminator. I like that. That carbine might be better than our current carbine. Plasma rifle. No, it is not. So I'm going to break it. How do I break it down? Go ahead. All right, let's do this, Ludovico. We're coming for you with a vengeance. Right after I strip your followers of, you know, things that are useful. Are you uh, going the right way? Like... I don't think so. I just there's more stuff that way, but this is. Wait, did I? Am I going backwards? Wait, no, he's getting closer. I think this is right. I feel like we're going to the correct level. Yeah, we haven't opened. Oh, uh, now I know we are, because... New enemies. Oh my god. Let me get the serious gamer lean. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh, what did I get hit with? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like any of this either, friend. Or... Frenemy. Oh, zero damage. He says that, like, the scientist medic who's never invested a point into melee can't do damage. Ew, he's throwing up stuff! I mean, I just wanted to try it. <laughs> Great work. Your character is not like my vanguard in Mass Effect, who could just like punch people to death. That's that is very true. Sealed. Okay. That was the end of that. Was oh, there anything over here to grab? No, it's just stuff and things. All right, here we go. We are very close. Hey, Captain. Whatever happens, I just want you to know. I've always got your back. Oh, thanks, Parvati. That makes me feel good. You know what? Now is the perfect time to sell all junk. Welcome to his stuff and things. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh, I think I just figured. Maybe. Figured what out? Yes, I know you're hungry. Be patient. I'll feed you soon enough. Just a guest. The one I told you about. The inspector. Welcome. We were just oh, talking right. about you. There's someone behind you or something. You and I are standing in the presence of royalty. Yep, here we Don't go. Don't worry, 
You'll meet her soon enough. I know what you've done. Hijacked Phaeton. Contaminated the air we breathe with your poison. I... You think you've saved this colony? All you've done is robbed Halcyon of its last chance at real happiness. And you've angered my queen. <sighs> I'm tired of listening to this guy. If you're about to monologue, I don't care. <laughs> well, I kind of curious to see. Oh, well, anyway. <sighs> do you want to hear more? Because I do want to hear what companions have to say, but at the same time, if there's more content. What is going on here? The queen of symbiotes, a creature of endless <laughs> compassion and unfathomable intelligence. The next sovereign of Halcyon. Oh, wait, they said. Here Remember that one guy saying that they don't need direct contact to direct people? Yes, that's what I- just before we walked through the door, that's what I was thinking. Don't that the queen's afraid. controlling she him. She can smell fear, and it makes her absolutely ravenous. Your Highness! Dinner is served. Oh, yuck. Wait, no, not me. Damn! Law. Stop. Wow, what a surprise, Ludovico. Whoa. <laughs> yep. Called it, called it! <laughs> no, it's working. It's working better than you think. I'll destroy Good you job. with vodka! <laughs> Sick nasty. All right. So there's an assistant Harwell in here who's telling us the queen is enraged. Like, pretty obvious. Oh, where'd you go, Queenie? Oh, for crying out loud. Nah, it's working. It's working fine. I'm going to destroy you with the power of vodka. There we go. Well, that was, um, a little anticlimactic. Light ammo, heavy ammo. Oh, we'll administer to Ludovico! Already a pile of bones. That's quite disturbing. Access card. Administrator's finery. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to try that Ooh, out. Nova Burst! That thing does net negative damage. I know, right? It's hella efficient. I'm gonna put on the clues. Wait, why is this... Why did you equip Spectrum... Gatling gun? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oops. Oh, that thing's wild. What the fuck? Oh, it shoots a butt-ton of bullets in all directions. I'd go back to my vodka powered Gatling gun. I don't know. What does it actually say? It's one of the, it's a special weapon. So it's all weird. Damage minus 50%. Special effect stagger. Assault rifles already do a lot of damage and end rays make that worse. This gun makes it much worse. So there was an assistant Harwell talking to you somewhere around here. Was there? I wasn't paying attention. I was trying yeah, the, to shoot. I didn't. I didn't actually hear them. I just saw the subtitles. I figured that's what you meant when you're like, someone's telling you things. And ooh, distillery engineering passcode. That seems important. One of the things they said was, "Well done. You're lasting way longer than Administrator Ludovico." And the other one was that I saw was something like, "Watch out, the queen's in range." Access machinery controls. Steam distribution warning. 
Oh, wow. Oh, well, that could have been useful. Oh, well. Yeah, very useful. Try to burn the queen alive. Okay. Well, after some fumbling about... Oh. Ooh, Adreno, I use that a lot. I have like 186 doses of it. Wait, what was behind the lockers? Oh, right. What I actually needed. I'm sorry. Let's talk to this fool. You made it. I guess happy customers really oh my God. are happy customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the Purpleberry Orchards. This is my way of showing you that I appreciate you just for being alive. Uh. <sighs> Thanks, Farwell. Well. Can we give him a dose? I don't think there's anything else we can do with him. Enjoy the golden ticket, friend. Well, there's nothing we can do for you, and I don't believe in... I don't want to mercy kill you, so... Yeah, I think we need to talk to Helen's probably the next thing. Probably. What does the quest say? It's Captain, go home. Wait, there's several optional things. Talk Speak with, with Helen, Cedric. Talk with Cedric. Return to Ada. Okay, so we don't want to return to Ada until we talk to Cedric and Oh, Helen. absolutely not. We can't end this without actually talking to people. Who do you want to talk to first? I don't know. I feel like... Oh, we're back here again. I want to talk to Helen. Yeah, me too. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. I'm sad we didn't get to kill him ourselves, but we did get to see, like, painful death noises as a subtitle, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. I was just looking at the pictures. Painful death noises. <laughs> uh, I am a little bit sad now that we didn't ask our party to speak, but it's okay. I know. There... I made the call. Kind it's of. okay. You did, especially since you, you went along with me. Like, let's... It... Let's accuse what's this fit squelch. <laughs> I kind of feel like walking at this point. Why is why are people still not cured? Look, I'm getting attacked. Are they all wearing gas masks? Yeah. They're all wearing masks of some sort. Oh crap, I'm over here trying to loot attack. this body and there's somebody I'm still... Where? Oh, there. We're okay. Okay, come on. It's like, can I get out of here without having to kill somebody? Can I just fast travel? I don't want to have... I can't fast travel. Well, near hostiles. Fantastic. But maybe after this battle we can. Look, the, the unfortunate truth of the matter is if this, it hasn't cured them, they're going to grow into big parasites. Yeah, I guess we do need to... There's not much of an option here. So, yeah. And it looks like everybody's conveniently hanging out for us to talk to. So that's good. Yay. I'm glad that you can just kind of sprint forever. Oh, who are you kidding? It's Unlike the best. Unlike Mass Effect where you're like, sprint, sprint, sprint. <laughs> I know, it's like Commander Shepard, trained soldier, gets winded after tw 10 seconds of running. 
Billy Butts 2, a popsicle for 70 years, can jog forever. And I guess we Maybe didn't. it's a side effect of being unfrozen. Separately. Or maybe it's just the, the game's prioritized different systems <laughs> and it comes off weird. Whoa. Oh, it's loading again. Don't worry, everyone. I was like, maybe we... Hopefully we had an auto Don't save panic. around here somewhere. Alright. Let's do this. There's Helen. You know, I'm gonna put my gun away. Feeling less like a I maniac. I dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest, eaten alive by the queen of the brain slugs wasn't on that list. Perception, you sound disappointed. Is that so strange? No. I imagine this moment would be a little more cathartic. But Linda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't gonna say that. I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah, revenge be like that. I didn't help you because I like give it time. Okay. I don't. I don't think we need to throw it in the face. Also, where do we get off calling her out for murder with the number of people we've gunned down? It's true. We've gunned down a lot. She's just killed like three worth. people. I well, she killed people. My old life because it was never my life to begin people. with. It was shared. No. Oh. Never mind. You don't need to listen to this. But I want to. Thank you again for your help, Captain. I actually like you, Elsie and Helen. Far without you. That's true. Goodbye. Mm. Well. Hey, what's up, Cedric? We'll be awfully busy with the administrator gone. Lots to do. Ludovico was eaten by a giant slug. What an absolute tragedy. That's it. You've done us a great service here, Inspector. You have my gratitude. Very brave of the slug, though. Lou must have tasted so bitter. Ludovico was eaten by a giant slug. Well, I was kind of hoping there was going to be more to that conversation, but okay. Ditto. All right. I. Oh. I oh okay. The, the platform's already, already here. I thought I had to summon it. I didn't see it. Ugh. And a pew pew pew. Well, it's anticlimactic, but you know, sometimes life be that. Oh yeah, there's a power vacuum the size of the uh, Eridanos. Like that's. We did just kill the head of Rizzo's, and, like, somebody's gonna step right in, and... What do we do about that? That does seem, like, really irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, Cedric is... Might take up more. He's mm -hmm. definitely gonna... Not have Ludovico as an obstacle anymore. Well... Consequences. Talk Welcome to Ada. Back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? Not the Inspector yeah. anymore. In absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Oh. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited. And my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, <laughs> my conclusions are inaccurate. All I... right, who humor me? Who do you think killed Halcyon Helen? My simulations have yielded several possible causes of death. Halcyon Helen may have been killed by one or all of the following. Oh, I can't wait. Asphyxiating on Rizzo's spectrum brown. Yeah. Grappling with a primal well inebriated. <laughs> Killed by an overzealous fan. Death by automechanical. Or profound loneliness. How close <laughs> were my estimations? Um. Given that it was Spectrum Brown, closer than you think. <laughs> Excellent. I'm pleased to discover my ability to predict human behavior is accurate. I, or maybe I'm just leading you on. I will update oh, my no. information protocol accordingly. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Oh, God damn it. No problem. How can I be of assistance? Uh, well. May luck be with you. 
Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. <laughs> but it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. So it does, Ada. So it does. Well, thus ends... I'm just going to check the journal. Yep, thus ends... <laughs> Seriously. Thus ends our investigation into the death of Halcyon Helen. Oh. It, it crescendoed and then just kind of popped, sadly, like a balloon. That's okay. Now we've got to do something else next week. Yeah, do something else next week. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go find his contact. Like the actual main quest of the game. Like uh, ha, ha, that ha. we've been derailed from for many episodes. That's okay. Well, thanks for joining us, all y'all out there, especially Two Shoes for coming in and joining the conversation. And thanks to you rewatching. <laughs> High five that bell, bang! If you, especially if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll never miss a re-upload. We would love it. You can catch up on our old streams, see what else we've done in the past. You know. But we're always here at Twitch. But we love you. We love you. Good night. Good night.